Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Rach. I am Rachel. And I'm Carl. And you're watching Happy's Family Farm or Happy's Lawn Care and Landscaping. I'm not sure. Yeah, we, we're not sure what channel. We're going to put this on both channels. Some yeah. of what we're doing on both because if you're watching the Lawn Care and Landscaping channel, we don't have as much to do in the winter. So we don't have as much to record. So we can bring you this side of a business that we started. Yeah. So we just want to say thank you for watching and following along on our journeys. Um, so today we are going to be getting ready to make uh, wax melts. So wax melts are like candles, smelly, pretty, um, sometimes have color to them. And they go in a container like this. Uh, sometimes there's wax melts that have like little tea light candles underneath and then sometimes there's wax melt you know setups that have like light bulbs underneath so if you guys use wax melts then let us know down below um, but we are going to be making little bumblebees and the honeycomb right there and then we're also going to be doing these I believe and we're doing this out of uh, clear beeswax or, or white? Um, I think or... we're going to make, I think we're going to use the yellow this time. So we're going to go ahead and try to work with the block beeswax. This is sourced in the U.S. and it is natural beeswax. So we obviously have to cut it down and then put it into our little um, boiler and then we'll double boil it and melt it down and do all that stuff. But we'll take you along um, for right now, we want to figure out how much wax we actually need to melt down because... So we watched another YouTuber and he gave us a formula of putting water in our molds and timesing it by point what? Uh, point eight. eight or... Yeah, we have it written down in our notebook. So, but we wanted to record this for you guys. So we'll multiply it by whatever we're supposed to and let you know the total. But for now, we needed to start with... Um, our battery is dying on this. So. Yeah, you can and put then, this pot on here, and then what is what are you gonna? I think one of them zeroes it out. Yeah, right there. Okay. So that zeroes it out. So now you would put your water in the pot, like take it off two hundred and two. Oh right. Okay. So go ahead and dump that in. Oh. And what we learned too is you want to make sure these are super. These are dried out after doing this water. Yeah. Before you pour any wax in it. So we're not going to be starting this for a couple hours. So so it will definitely be dried. Yeah. You have, these are the first times we're washing the, or using these silicones anyway. So it's always a good idea to make sure that everything is good job on spilling a little. But oh, I had our, yeah, I had everything in there. Oh, you had all the water. That yeah. Was that's a little tiny, bit, but that's okay. Okay. So what this will do now is show us. 425 grams and we will be back in one second to let you know what how much wax we're going to be using them yes. almost about half i think is what we're doing oh man so i'm not even halfway there yet nice <laughs> sorry and then we wanted to get this going because um this is also going to take time to melt down as well so we are going to be doing a double boiler system um and then obviously like i said this is the hardest one for us to work with because the other ones the soy that we're going to be working with is soy flakes and then the other beeswax that i got was bee beeswax pearls so i'm sorry husband but great job i'm getting there you're getting there Making me, making me work for it. And I think that this is really actually going to give us a lot of melts. I think that we are going to be able to fill everything that we wanted to fill. Close to 98.6 degrees, right? Yeah. Okay, so I have to get water over to here, though, but we don't want to get it anywhere near the wax. So. Oh, you might have too much water in there. Yeah, I because I have to get a boiling. Is that what? And because that pitcher is going to take up some volume. True, true. So 
So this is our nifty little burner that we got for our essential oil setup. And um, we are still going to eventually do essential oils, which would be lovely to add into our own candles and soaps. But just the amount of, the amount of stuff that you need to process to get the amount of oil. We'll see how close my calculations came. <laughs> This is a new science to us. What am I trying to tell? 224 or about. We just don't want to really go over. So how many of you are excited about apple cider? Oh, apple cider is one of our favorites. So hopefully you guys like apple cider also. All right. So we have all of the beeswax cut up. You saw that Coral had the... Yep. So we're at 224, which would equate to 22.3 grams of oil. Um... All right, so we're gonna let this boil and then we're gonna melt down our wax and then we will show you it melting down a little bit in the next process. So Rachel is stirring this. Do you guys see it down there? Look how pretty, it's a pretty color. We had to kickstart this by putting it on the stove and I'm trying to gauge the temperature because I don't really want the water to be Sorry, the cats are... The cats are fighting. <laughs> okay, we... The water was at 175. The coral's checking... The wax. We are at 168. Okay. So, we're going to take it off now, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to stick it on here. Yep. And we're going to stick it right there. And we're going to dump this whole fragrance in, right? Mm -hmm. And then Carl is going to start stirring for two minutes. You don't have to be real quick because it's at about 165. Well, it cools down pretty quick, though. Yeah, it's still at 166. Okay, let's check it again. So we poured the essential oil in at 166 and Carl said that the it started to harden, but it went back out, it was fine. Yeah, but it would do that if the oil was at a lower temperature too, it would still harden it. Yeah, we have because to we have to warm up the essential oils, I guess. We're at about 159. We are going to go ahead and pour. Um now we did not heat up these silicone molds, so we'll see how this works. What am I doing? Just pouring? Yeah. To where? Yeah. Okay, I want to do at least one of these. So can we... One of these? Yeah, at least, so... Oh. Do I need more? Good. Oh. Do another bumblebee. Yeah, we don't have it right. Where is it? No, it's fine. So, we are back out here to finish this video, but we wanted to show you we're going to pop these out. But while you guys were away, we made more 
wax melts here. We did. So welcome back and thank you for watching. So we're gonna pop these out and you can see I over poured. I'm getting used to this. Yeah. And we might have to cut this mold, but we're gonna see. Yeah. So Rachel. And we do actually have some melting. Of the first one we made. Yeah. Smells good. Um. So if you guys watched the first part of this, you probably were yelling at me when I was putting in the essential oil. If you knew what you were doing, if you have done candles or fragrance before, um, I did not use the proper amount. Of oil. Yes. Yeah, so or fragrance. We, the fragrance that we ended up using turned out to be only about like four and a half percent of what wax we used. <laughs> These ones, um, we actually added a color to, you can see. Green. So we turned yeah. them green. It smells like mistletoe because that's what we used. Now, we're gonna pop all these out, Rachel mm -hmm. is. So these are some that we popped out already. Um, and, and like I said, these are all gonna be test subjects because we did not use the amount of fragrance that we wanted to use, but how cute, right? Yeah, I mean, they smell. I think that they're adorable. Yeah, we have them burning in the melter, so I'm going to actually send some to family and have them test them out. Then hopefully in a couple weeks... Yeah. We will have these ready, packaged, and we will have them available on our website. Yeah, so, um, and then clean up, we're learning also, because, like, see how this, it's wax. So, I mean, some of it will just come off, but in the pot, it doesn't. So, we're going to have to designate, like, old pots to just candle <laughs> and wax melt making. Um, but I love them. Oh, my gosh. Smells so good. So these were the apple cider, and this is just the natural yellow beeswax. Um, these were also made with beeswax, but then we added mistletoe fragrance, like Coral said, and um, about 25 drops of coloring. Um, so we are just learning with coloring, too. No, you did 16 drops on this one. Oh, 16. Yeah. I said that I could do at least 25, right? Yeah. So, oh my gosh, how cute. And this actually made more because these are smaller. So we didn't know how many these would make. So we ended up making some of the little presents too. So cool. Yeah. So now we know that um, how many 100 grams make. So, well, not technically because we use this and I don't know exactly how many. We're going to have to weigh this, I guess. And see how much it weighs. Yeah. Oh my gosh, these are so cute, right, you guys? They smell Look. like mistletoe, too. Yeah, mistletoe. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. I love it. It's gonna smell like a candle factory in this house. Yeah, it is. And we've been at this every night. We probably so should far. probably wear gloves. Yeah, probably. Once we um are starting to like package and sell them up, we'll we'll put gloves on. Did you want me to go? They just pop right out. No, I think. Yeah, look how nice. That? So the silicone molds are the way to go for sure. Um, and then tonight we're going to do stars, candy canes. Do we have any other candy canes? No, I don't think so. This we only one. have that candy canes? This one. Oh, so. the big candy canes over there. What big candy canes? Right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. So um, that's what I said. We're going to do these and these, but nothing else on here, right? No. Okay. Okay. So, nice. Oh, do you want me to try to pop this thing out? Yeah. Because I think we have to cut it, don't we? We might. We were thinking. Yeah, I can't. It's not going to pull right out. Yeah. So, oh, pretty neat, though. So cute, you guys. Look. So, I actually had to help Carl pop it out. But, um, yeah. A so, little Christmas tree. Does that look like tree. a Christmas tree? Does it look like a Christmas tree? You guys let us know. 
Now we could get technical and try to figure out how to put a little star on top. Okay guys, we're a month and a half later from when we recorded this video of the wax melts. Oh yeah. We've made probably 20 or 30 candles. Mm -hmm. um, these ones that you see and the ones you're gonna see in the videos making after this are new ones we did because we had to test again to make sure they're right. So we gotta wait another two weeks, but these are ones we made last night our batch it's um as you can see but that's probably not where we're going to name it we just mix them two together yeah we mix them and it smells so good yeah and, it does and i'm glad that these um wicks seem to be working better so well, we went with be. the better wicks and the better wax now. yeah so, so you should from... see them available in the next couple weeks so guys we appreciate you watching if you continue watching i'm not sure the next video might be us going to get our christmas tree um, what we do every year for our tradition on Thanksgiving. Also we're behind. <laughs> yeah, we're behind in the video. So yeah, you'll see videos out in the porch garden because we got to go through worms and stuff and things are growing nice out there. And then we're going to throw in a couple lives. Oh, so if you watch this video today, which is the 17th. Six, oh, it's 17th. It'll be the 17th, right? Saturday morning. We mm -hmm. are going to do a live that night. So if you are watching this after... Um, I'm not sure, 8 or 9 o'clock, so check in on this channel. Yeah, um, we're going to try to do Happy's Family Farm. If for some reason there's a problem with going on Happy's Family Farm, then we'll just go on Happy's Lawn Care. But um, we'll definitely let you guys know. We'll be live at probably 9 o'clock, I think. And if you see this after, then sorry you missed our live. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Yeah, we're trying to do more lives this winter, though. So, so guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to be happy. Or at least try. Have a good, Have a good night. night.